that was always exciting. Every time we went flying, we all had a smile on our face because it was such an exciting thing to look forward to, to fly the Concorde from London to New York. I think you can even say power, speed, and beauty. I'll put it that way. And the greatest of those is beauty. takes off like a scolding cat. Amazing technology for the time it was invented. This aeroplane was thought about in the 1950s, designed in the 60s, built in the 70s, and flown into the next century. It was a fantastic experience, and I was able to enjoy the benefit of going to a meeting in New York, first thing in the morning, taking off from the UK in the morning. To be able to carry 100 people as speeds faster than speed and put is unique. But during the course of the flight, we did have a, a wonderful meal and had an opportunity to relax a little bit, but it was a short flight in the sense that it was just under three hours. It was almost not quite enough time for the stewardesses to develop and deliver the food. It was a non-stop event as well. You didn't sit back and uh, rest on your laurels. You were working all the time from the start of the flight to the finish and you were never bored. So a sonic boom is a situation when the aircraft is moving so quickly that it has difficulty pushing the air out of the way. People sometimes complain that they would be standing in their greenhouse and they get this boom and then they get a crack pane of glass in their greenhouse. The food was fantastic. It was beautiful, beautifully served and, um, and of course a Concord is, is known for sort of Don Perignon and Caviar. We had Andy Warhol on board. Oh, the kit was another. Joan Collins was pretty regular. Vicky was on one occasion with her husband, George Harrison. Well, it was a, it was a, it was an end of an era. For me, it was the last it was the last shutdown of the engines when two one six engines were, were finally shut down. You knew that was that was the end because uh, the Olympus five nine three in that condition will never run again. I, I could not understate how important Concord has been in my life. Uh, it will be something that will live with me for a very long time. It was the flagship of the fleet and really the flagship of the country.